here to try and make these young people aware of STEM, that's science, technology, engineering and mathematics. There's a huge shortage of engineers and technologists in this country, but across the world, and really by making them aware of the truths into science and technology and engineering, we hope to be able to increase the numbers going into that career in the future. Students didn't really see STEM as four subjects that would dovetail together. They saw it maybe as a science lesson, a maths lesson, maybe something to do about engineering and something to do with technology, but they didn't see it holistically. So today's about bringing all of those skills together um, and as I say, just putting them in activities which they may not realise are STEM, but they are STEM. Well, this is in direct response to a call from industry to help get uh, more young people interested and uh, inspiring to be uh, the kind of skilled workers of the future that local industry needs in things like the engineering and technology world. I'm involved with um, Basildon Council and Essex County Council um, in the wider picture, um, again because we want to put a bit back into the community, um, things such as reading partners that we're doing with a local school, um, we're starting a mentoring programme next week again in another local school. Um, it's all about ensuring that the students and, and industry and education Education, they're actually linking up and making sure that we're securing our future. Yeah, we're starting the mentoring program at Beauchamp School next week. Um, basically, we're helping kids, um, year eight children, um, progress through the, their schooling with uh, science, technology, engineering, and maths, and generally helping them out with um, their future. STEM is important because it allows the the connection between. Uh, the schools and colleges and the businesses that are out in the, in, in the wider world. STEM careers are so important, science, technology and engineering and maths, we're always going to need the scientists and, and the people who can work with this important technology. Um, I mean, as you know, we're advancing so fast, the technologies in, in the world today is just moving on constantly. Um, one of the points we made to the students today is one of the benefits of working in a STEM career is just how fast things change and the constant new challenges that you get. There are some key sectors that are of really, real importance to uh, the economic growth of the county, uh, things like engineering, things like manufacturing. Uh, we've got a whole um, new industry emerging in terms of offshore wind energy. So at the heart of all of those kind of careers um, are STEM subjects. You know, they need to understand mathematics, they need to understand English, they need to do engineering and understand why science is important to the world around us. STEM is important to Essex really and everywhere across the world I'll, I'll add um, because without those subjects being taught and without those bit subjects being um, understood in the schools then we will not progress as I guess a human race as we have been you know it's taken I think it was something like 38 years for radio to get out to 50 million people well today Google's got out across 50 million people in one year so uh, that's why it's important. STEM for James Hongsby is very important because we want the best for our students and for students to be aware of science, technology, engineering and mathematical opportunities within their local environment it raises their aspirations and makes them want to choose better careers for themselves as they leave James Hongsby. I think STEM is important to, um, to Essex and the whole of the UK economy because um, it's starting guys at a young age um, into engineering. Engineering is something that's going to help the country alone pull out of uh, recession. We need to teach our students in Essex the right skills to get the jobs that are available and there's, uh, we need sort of students going in at apprentice level in the STEM subjects um, and there's a lack of that at the moment so we need to raise awareness to our students, also uh, raise awareness to providers out there of, of what we can offer them. At Sir Let's Galileo we are um, really, really enthusiastic about taking on our work experience uh, pro and, uh, students as well. Um, this is where students come in from the local colleges and the local schools and we give them a taste of four experiencing the world of work in an industry such as Sir Let's Galileo. It is definitely worth doing this type of uh, work experience. Um, we get a lot of, of self-fulfilment out of helping young people. The benefit of work experience is just experience like how work would be, like getting up in the morning, coming, doing the long hours and uh, just basically learning everything like you can. I'd recommend work experience a lot because it's enjoyable and it helps you prepare for life. I think the benefit for us in taking on people from uh, work experience is we could find that star of the future which is what we're looking for to take our company forward. Mm -hmm. 
if someone was thinking about doing engineering for work experience, I'd say try it because it's really interesting and it's more than what you think would be involved. For the event to work today, we've collapsed the timetable, so the youngsters haven't gone to normal timetables at all. We've put a program together with the 12, 13 businesses that have actually come into the school, and, and the students have moved between those activities throughout the day. Now, it's not only those the students in school, but we've had three trips out today as well. well we've been doing STEM, and we take part in loads of different activities, like puzzles, and lots of other stuff like building cars that go by balloons and it's really good. We've got an electronics um, workshop for them here where they're looking at oscilloscopes and small circuits. There's um, some IT over there where the pupils are getting to play some of the games that some of our students have designed and they're going to evaluate them and see if they're good games or not. Um, and then we've got um, a science activity with some skeletons and we've got a construction activity where they're looking at field of light and we've had them doing an exercise in construction and engineering using marshmallows and dried spaghetti to make towers and the aim of the exercise was to construct a tower as tall as possible which held the weight of a tennis ball and we just got them to think about um, the structure of what they were designing and uh, the use of materials in engineering and things like that. We had to hold the brick up on a piece of wood and a wooden on a plastic plate see if it would hold. And. Our mathematical activity is a construction, in this case they're constructing catapults. We also had a construction activity which was building a platform upon which people could stand. Three, two, one, go! I think so. A lot of, lot of school children seem to think that STEM subjects are dirty or boring or difficult and there's a lot of um, misconception in that. So we're just trying to show them that there are lots of opportunities, they're high tech, they're clean, they're interesting and they're, they're accessible to everybody, whatever their um, achievement level is. So one of the things we really do need to focus on is raising aspirations of the youngsters that we serve. Within that, my view is we need to show them what's out in the big wide world so they can actually see what career opportunities that there are for them in the future. The more employers that get involved in the STEM project will help the, the schools and the, the students to look for their future in different, in different industries, not only just in engineering, but in logistics, in catering, in leisure, in all areas. And that's where people come from, from schools. When they leave, they're looking not only to come to us, which would be great if they could, but also to work into the world, wider world. It's the raising the aspirations, and within that will come the raising of achievement and attainment within the students. My experience uh, of schools and employers is that, crucially, they don't quite see it from the same perspective. What seems to be going on here is that we seem to have got that people talking to each other, some relationships with each other, where they're actually talking about that nitty gritty, about what is it that you know, is going to fit young people well for the workplace, is going to excite them so they do well, so actually yeah, they, they achieve in school and aren't switched off, but are also better able and better, better ready for yeah, to take up the opportunities. It's really important that the young people see that the employers have got things for them and it's also important for the employers to, to kind of see what, what fears or worries the children might have so that they can, uh, they can like, encourage them to come into these areas. It's been really good. I've, you know, I've enjoyed seeing the kids' faces and the fact that they've enjoyed um, what they've seen today and the fact that some of them ask questions and uh, they just generally look very interested in, in what we've done. Students have really enjoyed it. It's different and they've liked the balance of activities. Um, they like the hands-on. They like the practical activities. Um, and I think the staff have even enjoyed it more as well because they're getting involved and they're learning stuff they never knew. They've really loved it, it's something new and we don't often get to do things like this or they don't often get to see things like this so they've been really enthusiastic and loved the day so far. Yeah, they've done a whole number of different activities and uh, quite complex activities some of them but as I've walked around what struck me is the engagement of the children and the staff. Everyone's having a ball but it's pretty focused and you know purposeful. I wasn't really compelled to do engineering before but now I am. Likewise. I really thought it was a bit boring because of um, it's just numbers and buttons really, but I found out more about it. Yeah. I I didn't think much of it. Like I just thought it was like what Blue said, loads of numbers <laughs> and hard work. But now that you get to work on fast cars and defence systems, it just seems much more interesting. Like a wider variety. 
Before I did today, I was very confused about engineering, but now my mind is more clear. This is where the feedstock is. This is where the young people are going to come to actually think about apprenticeships and become engineers at all levels. It's not just graduates, it's a complete chain that people need. If companies step in now, they can start nurturing for the short term, the medium term and the long term. A number of the support companies we have have woken up to this across the UK and they're doing it already. Students have been able to form links and naturally become aware of science, technology, engineering and mathematics without being in the classroom. So they're actually discovering new opportunities and um, future career opportunities which they probably wouldn't have if they were just staying in school. Mm -hmm.